What's up you guys, thank you for clicking on this video. So as you can tell by the title, we have some crazy news to cover. The 1027 live stream dropped just an hour ago at the time of this recording. And they revealed Studio Series 86 Devastator and Age of the Primes leader class, The Fallen. We were getting word from some insiders that something for the next generation's line would be in this live stream, but we didn't know what it was. And now we know <laughs> it is freaking leader class, The Fallen. And I guess let's talk about him first. This guy looks freaking fantastic. He look honestly, guys, he looks better than I thought he was going to be when I first saw the leaked listings for him earlier this year. Because leader class is a pretty slippery slope these days. You don't know if you're getting a mediocre Voyager with a bunch of accessories or if you're getting a semi-solid leader class like the Dinobots. So it seems like it's a best of both worlds here. He's a nice, chunky leader. But he also has a ton of accessories. He's got like four flame effects. He's got two sword things. He's got those uh, shoulder mounted cannons that look removable, but I'm not sure if they are. And then, of course, he's got his arm mounted cannon with a suppressor they were talking about, too, that is used as the actual tank cannon as well they didn't put it on his robot mode but you could see the suppressor or whatever they called it in the tank mode to make the uh the cannon longer so that is really cool so that's like what one two three four ten accessories maybe like seven if those shoulder cannons aren't removable plus you're getting a chunky leader with 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 what looks to be amazing articulation you get a hand joint to get the nice ankle pivot. Hopefully he has a ball jointed head. Maybe a secret ab crunch in there. You know, that would be nice. It seems like they may have built one in there somehow because the lower abdomen looks like it has a cut that would give enough clearance for an ab. But obviously I'm not sure on that. I'm just speculating. And obviously him being based off of his dream wave design is so freaking cool. Uh, that's what I was hoping for the most. And we heard leaks over the last few months that that's what they were going to be going for. But obviously you never know. Plans could change with Hasbro. It could have been his IDW or... R.I.D. 2015 counterpart for all we know. So I'm glad it's arguably the best Fallen design from Dreamwave. And man, I got to go back and read those comics that he was in with Dreamwave because there was some amazing art and storylines there with that character then. And just imagine putting this figure next to that new 86 Optimus or putting him against the Dinobots or even Armada Optimus. Uh, he's going to look great next to so many figures. He just looks nice and big and important posing he could have been just a little bit taller for a leader class but you know that's not really what we get with leader class these days i mean damn he even has his own designated signature on his arm cannon which is fantastic the arm cannon looks big and chunky i like it a lot better than the bumblebee movie megatron cannon it seemed a little bit skinny for him this one is nice and chunky and plus when you got that black suppressor on there it's gonna look uh, a lot more imposing which is really nice and then the two swords man he just looks fantastic guys i cannot wait to get my hands on this guy he's supposed to be coming out in the early springtime next year around march april may somewhere around that time frame in the packaging i need to talk about the packaging so we're back with the plastic windows like they announced earlier this year which is great i love that we won't get stolen figures anymore and you won't get cheap packaging where you can't see the paint on the leader class figures and whatnot so that's great i love that but what is really interesting on this packaging here is the artwork on the side that mark shows off you see three primes members of the 13 you see liege maxima which is based off of his freaking g2 design i didn't know they were gonna cook that hard with the future liege maxima i think he's coming out in 2026 i don't think he's on the 2025 uh mainline list uh, and him being on the G2 design is just freaking insane. That design was like the precursor to what we saw in Age of Extinction in The Last Night. These super weird, humanoid, animalistic kind of designs. And just seeing that we're going to be getting this at some point, I'd assume he's going to be a leader class, but I don't know, maybe he's a Voyager. Considering he's the same size as the Fallen here in this artwork, I'd assume he would be a leader class for 2026. 
But I'm just amazed that they took the, the G2 design. And then, of course, you got the fall in there in the middle. And the last one is, is arguably the most interesting one because it looks like Star Convoy. He's got the legs, the head, and the arms. But then the midsection looks like Power Master Optimus Prime. Now, I've said this before on the channel, but I'll say it here for people who don't remember or people who are new to the channel in this video. I'm not well versed in Japanese G1. I've only seen a few episodes of Victory and, you know, I know some of the main characters, you know, like Victory Saber, Death Saurus, Lyo Kaiser, stuff like that. I'm not crazy versed in Japanese G1. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but it seems like with the Titan class Star Convoy coming out next year, we're also going to be getting some form of a Power Master Optimus Prime built into Star Convoy here. Maybe the chest section works similar to HasLab Deathsaurus. And, you know, you got the Star Chest, which is the regular classic Star Convoy design. But then you get the Power Master Optimus, or God Ginrai, or whatever the name would be, where you could port it into his chest, similar to the cassettes that came with Deathsaurus. That's what I'm assuming, but I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine on what they could do with this Titan class. There's so many options on how they're going to handle a freaking $200 Commander plus Optimus Prime figure. So I'm really curious to see how they handle it, seeing that we may be getting a Power Master Optimus as well in this pack. Hopefully we get a close look at the rest of Wave 1 here soon considering we already have the packaging finished, the full figure and render finished for this guy. And he's going up for pre-order tomorrow, I think, at the time of this recording. So it seems like they're going to be revealing the rest of the wave somewhat soon. I don't think they're going to wait another two months or a month and a half until that Singapore Comic-Con uh, to reveal the, the rest of the wave when the main leader class of the wave has already been up for pre-order for a month and a half by that time in early December. So I definitely think we're going to be getting the rest of the wave here soon, probably in another two weeks, I'd assume. But yeah, some really exciting times. And let's get into something even crazier here. 86 Devastator, they finally stopped edging us after, what, three months, and they just showed them. I mean, it is a great prototype, and they didn't show off all the individual Constructicons. But Scrapper and Bone Crusher, they look cool. There is a little bit of hollowness, especially on a Voyager class like Scrapper that looks a bit questionable, especially for how simple in design these characters are. But I love that the Devastator cannon comes with Scrapper and you could, you know, split it apart into two pieces for him to hold it. That's a really nice play option there. And Bone Crusher, he looks decent. He does look a little awkward proportionally. Um, a bit different than what you're used to kind of from the show. But he still looks decent, you know, not really something that I'm too happy for. Um, he's probably going to be one of those that I appreciate more in combined mode. But the robot mode still looks decent, you know, it's I really do think it's the arms for me that just look the worst on his robot mode. And Evan did state that these aren't the final colors, they're looking to turn up the green a notch, which... I don't know if they really need to do that, but obviously we haven't seen what they're looking to do with the colors, so I can't really judge right now. But looking at Devastator in his full combined mode uh, with Optimus, the 86 version there, it's cool, you know, but I don't know. There's something proportionally a little off about him. The chest piece sits a little low. The midsection is a little long, and the... The uh, hands, it's got those same 5mm port things that we saw on Armada Optimus that I'm not really a fan of. And then plus they also hollowed it out a little bit, which is a bit wonky to me. You're spending over $200 to complete the six-figure set, and there's wonky hollowness like that in the combined mode. I don't know, that just seems a little weird to me. I know it's a little bit of a nitpick, but it's still there, you know? Um... But yeah, the full combined mode for Devastator, obviously you can't really tell too much from a gray model, but from what you can see, it does look like it's going to be possibly the best 
uh, you know, Generations Devastator we've gotten. Probably the most stable and articulated one we've gotten. Definitely blowing the Combiner Wars one out of the water as far as that's concerned. He is a bit small to go up against the Titan Class Omega Supreme that got reissued for next year. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Maybe one day they redo Omega Supreme. I hope not. The The Siege one is just fine, especially with them re-releasing it now. So I don't know. It's I got to see more images of this and the Constructicons individually before I make a final judgment. I'm still going to be getting it, but right now my overall thoughts on it are, you know, I'm... It looks good, but it seems like there's going to be some issues with it, you know. And they also threw up the full release calendar for the Constructicons. They showed off the new Studio Series packaging, which again looks great. Love that the plastic windows are back. Going up for pre-order tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. Premium members, 2 p.m. for everyone else. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how the rest of this turns out. And they also explained something a little interesting in the live stream here with wave changes going forward for next year and beyond that they're not going to be doing wave fours anymore. Uh, they're going to be getting rid of repeat characters that are repacked in waves. I don't know how good that's going to fly with people in the years to come because I don't know like how they're going to fix that issue because some characters are just going to get hard to find now where they're not repacked. I don't know how it's going to work. We got to wait and see until next year is over and we go into 2026. But I'm a little worried with them not doing Wave 4 and getting those re-releases of potentially hard to find figures that same year. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Maybe it'll be a good thing. Maybe it won't be. But I just figured it was something a little weird that they brought up. So hopefully it doesn't mean anything bad going forward. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Love how The Fallen came out. And Devastator, he looks decent, but I got to see how the rest of them turns out. Let me know, let me know down in the comments below how y'all feel about the reveals today. Do you love them? Do you hate them? All my social medias are linked down below, including my email if you guys want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to message me about whatever. Or if you want to commission a diorama from me because I make dioramas for people for their stop motions, photography, or irregular display shelves in your homes, you can either hit me up on any of my social media accounts or just email me and we can work out a deal. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye!